Welcome to Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Our Lady of All Nations, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Introduction. The Chapel of Our Lady of All Nations is located at Amsterdam, Netherlands. The Lady of All Nations is a Catholic Marian title sometimes associated with apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Ida Peerdman of Amsterdam, Netherlands. Peerdman claimed to have received 56 visions of the Lady from 1945 to 1959. Chapel of Our Lady of All Nations, Amsterdam. On August 15, 1976, the Chapel of the Lady of All Nations at Diapenbrockstraat 3 in Amsterdam was consecrated. The original image had been kept the previous six years in a provisionary chapel at the house. For decades, numerous people from near and far have been coming to Mary, the Lady and Mother of All Nations, to pray for graces for themselves and those entrusted to them. Many pilgrims and regular visitors to the chapel say they experience an atmosphere of deep prayer and peace there, and praying before the image of the Mother, they receive consolation and new strength for their needs of body and soul. It is astonishing how many different peoples and nationalities participate sometimes in the Holy Mass. Over the years, impressive reports about conversions, healings and other answered prayers have been received at the Chapel of the Lady of All Nations. Apparition of Our Lady, Ida Peerdman was born on 13 August 1905 in the city of Alkmaar, Netherlands, the youngest of five children. She was an ordinary woman who worked as a secretary in Amsterdam. On 25 March 1945, Ida Peerdman is gathered with her sisters around the pot-bellied stove. A priest friend of the family, Father Freya, is presently visiting. As they are in lively talk, suddenly something strange happens. Ida sees an overwhelming light. Her surroundings seem to disappear. From that light, a beautiful feminine figure comes forward and begins the communicate with Idaho this would be the first of 56 apparitions that would continue until 1959. Peerdman's movement received support from a member of the wealthy Brenningmayer family. In December 1979, the Lady of All Nations Foundation purchased property in Diapenbrockstraat, Amsterdam, which became the center of the apparition cultus, and where Peerdman came to reside. She spent the rest of her life promoting the messages she claimed to have received. She died on 17 June 1996. The Heavenly Woman would later mention her name, I am the Lady, Mary Mother of All Peoples. She explains that the Father and the Son have sent her in order to help humanity. She warns the world of degeneration, disasters, and war, and the danger of a third world catastrophe. She wants to save the peoples of the upcoming world, and unfolds her plan of salvation. The messages then start with several social and political predictions. Specifically, in our own time, these messages reveal a staggering fulfillment, and are becoming more and more identifiable. These predictions, however, are meant only as a sign of authenticity. The essence of the message is spiritual, and reveals a way to spiritual renewal and peace. Visions of the Future The Second World War in drawing to a close, as the Lady appears for the first time on March 25, 1945, she puts up five fingers and announces that the war will end in May. In fact, Holland was liberated on the 5th of May. She shows Ida the rosary and encourages perseverance in its praying. Then, the lady casts a glance further into the future. The visionary gets a vision of the exodus of the Jewish people from Egypt, and hear the words, Israel will rise again. Indeed, in 1948, the new independent state of Israel is proclaimed. This prediction, however, continues with a warning about the manner in which the Jewish people obtain possession of the land by ignoring the rights of the Palestinian people, and Yahweh is ashamed of his people. Today, this has become recognizable. Also in 1945, the Cold War is manifested to Ida in several visions, 
and also the Iron Curtain, but, as well, its downfall. As Ida explains, the lady points to a bold line in Germany and states, Europe is divided into two. With my hand, I, Ida, grab it and throw it away. This, however, does not mean peace. The lady emphasizes the necessity of a return to God and to his justice, it is not to be found among the people, justice, truth, love. The visionary then sees the cross standing in the center of the world, and the lady points to it. Ida remarks, I have to take it up, but I turn my head away. It is as if I represent humanity, and throw the cross away from me. No, the lady says, it must be taken up and put back into the center, first back to him, only then is there true peace. A new split in the world. The messages reveal a period of increasing moral degradation and disasters, which ends in total catastrophe, unless humanity converts, as Ida relays, then over Europe, I see heavy thick clouds coming, and, beneath that, big waves which sweep over Europe. The lady says, Europe, be warned. This is not only economic battle it is about ruining the spirit. Politico-Christian struggle. The time when this takes place, so the predictions state, will also be a time which experiences climate change, nature will change to disaster on disaster. We now know all about this. Meteors, be warned. The lady also adds. It will also be a time of globalization. Ida then recalls, then, in the distance, I see many Eastern peoples. He will wake them up, the lady says. She predicts a new division in the world. Ida explains, suddenly I see Cairo, and get a strange feeling about it. Then I see all kind of Eastern peoples, Persians, Iranians, Arabs, etc. The lady says, the world is, so to speak, going to be torn in two. I now see the world before me and a big split coming, a crack that winds its way through the world. This, too, has become obviously visible in our own time. China, Russia, and the United States. Then Ida sees the Chinese people crossing a line. She says, with my hand I must go up and down above Formosa, Taiwan, and Korea. The war in Korea is just an omen and the beginning of great misery, the lady says. But Russia, also, will play its role. The Russians will not leave it at that, she warns. The effect of the dissolution of the Soviet Union will have serious impact, Russia will do everything with pretense. But the United States, is also to blame, the lady points to America and moves her finger in disapproval, while with a grave face she says, don't play off your policies too far. Then she makes me feel the cross that also lies heavy over America, and warns, America, Russia. It is coming nearer. What no one thought possible anymore, once again seems to have become possible. Our Lady warned of this already 60 years ago. Chaos in the Middle East, the Lady points to the globe, and says, do see all these countries. Nowhere unity, nowhere peace. Everywhere tensions, everywhere unrest. The Lord Jesus Christ allows this. His time will come. But first there will be a time of commotion paganism, deniers of God, snakes, they will first try to rule this world. In those times even between America and Europa will arise conflicts. The visionary sees the words written, trade war, boycotting, currencies, disasters. Then I see the word hunger and political chaos written. The lady says, this is not only for your country, but for the whole world. In the meantime, we can follow everything in the daily news. But the center of all the chaos remains the Middle East. The visionary sees it in symbolic words and images, now I see a round dome. I am given to understand, that is a dome of Jerusalem. I hear now, in and around Jerusalem heavy battles will be waged. The gates are opening. The Eastern peoples are holding their hands before their faces in Jerusalem. They will wail over their city. 
There is a large well in which you all can wash yourselves. The spiritual battle, as in Fatima so also in Amsterdam, Our Lady talks about the danger of world catastrophe, but always as being conditional. She has been sent, precisely in order to avoid or mitigate it. The purpose of prophecy is not to announce an inevitable fate, but always rather to hold out a saving hand to humanity so as to prevent it. Although, this requires conversion, repentance, and prayer. This brings us to the essence of these messages, which is to testify to the spiritual battle going on in our times. The social and political predictions are, in fact, just a prelude, as Our Lady points especially to the spiritual fight that exists veiled behind all external events. Above all, she tries to bring home to the Church the serious and gravity of our times. It is necessary to act, and to act quickly, the times are much too serious. No one realizes how serious. Rome, as early as 1951, Our Lady showed Ida a vision of the Second Vatican Council, and confirms the necessity of reforms and changes, disciplinary changes which include the formation of priests and religious. She is especially worried about Rome and the Vatican it is in danger, but at the same time protected. The visionary sees the dome of St. Peter's Basilica, and hears, that shall and must be protected. The other spirit is penetrating so dreadfully. Then, the lady says, that is the center, let that remain the center. The spirits of the world are working to destroy that center. I will help you. Now I, Ida, notice that Our Lady is holding her hand above the Pope and St. Peter's. The Pope is sitting with his fingers raised, and above his head is written, Fight. I see more and more fighting. Then suddenly I see soldiers wearing high caps standing behind the Pope, they are raising two fingers. Could this be a reference to Freemasonry? Mary and the Holy Eucharist. Sometimes, Our Lady becomes very concrete in her messages. For example, she warns the celibacy is in danger from the inside, but that it must remain, there are people who want this to be changed. Only in great exceptions. Often, refers to the Holy Eucharist as the daily miracle, and warns of errors concerning the Eucharist, warn the clergy about false doctrines, particularly concerning the Eucharist. Ida then sees Our Lady shake her head vehemently, no, nations, listen to what he said not an idea, but himself, under the appearance of a little bread, under the appearance of wine. Bring your children back to the sacrifice, bring your children, people, back to the sacrifice. Amsterdam has a special Eucharist mission, I have chosen Amsterdam as the place of the Lady of all nations. It is also the place of the sacrament. Understand this well. In Amsterdam, therefore, she wants a new church to be built which will be dedicated to the Lady of all nations, where people can find their mother, and where her Eucharistic son will be adored. Men and Woman Ida received a message concerning the proper role of men and women, the lady forms two rows of people. Now I see men standing to her right and women to her left. Then she points at the row of women with a compassionate look on her face. She shakes her head in pity and says, as though addressing those women, do you still know your task? She then explains the extremely significant influence that women have on men, listen carefully. As a woman is, so is the man. You women, set the example. Return to your womanliness. Abandon all of your egoism and vanity, and try to bring to the center, the cross, all children and those who are still wandering around grazing. Make sacrifice. Then she looks at the row of men and says, I have one question for you, men, where are the soldiers for Christ? From you, men, has to come the strength and the will to lead the world to the sole prince of this world, the Lord Jesus Christ. A new prayer is given. To invoke the Holy Spirit over our wounded world the Lady of all nations gave a new, short and beautiful prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the world. 
Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. She explains that time is pressing, this time is our time. Now the Father and the Son wants to be asked to send the Spirit. I recited to you the simple prayer and let you see how I wish to have it spread over the whole world. This simple prayer has been given for all peoples. All of you, no matter who or what you are, ask that the true Holy Spirit may come. This you shall ask the Father and the Son. The Divine Trinity will again reign over the world. The Lady stands here as the Advocate. The issue here is the Creator, not the Lady. Tell this to your theologians. In the last 70 years the prayer has progressively been spread throughout the whole world. It has been translated in almost all languages, and has received the imprimatur from more than 60 bishops and cardinals. A message for the Pope. The prayer, Our Lady promises, has great power, especially when prayed with the Church. She then addresses the Pope directly. I have come today to bring a special message. Ask the Holy Father to pray the prayer, which Mary as co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate, under the title the Lady of all nations, has given to the world, and to lead the nations in praying it. Tell him, Apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, teach your peoples this simple yet profound prayer. It is Mary, the Lady of all nations, who asks this of you. You are the Shepherd of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tend your sheep. Know well, great threats are hanging over the Church, are hanging over the world. Now the moment has come for you to speak of Mary as co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate, under the title the Lady of All Nations. Why is Mary asking this of you? Because she has been sent by her Lord and Creator so that, under this title and through this prayer, she may deliver the world from a great world catastrophe. The last Marian dogma, the last and most climactic element in the plan of the Lady of All Nations is the repeated request for the dogmatic proclamation by the Holy Father of her roles as co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. If the Church solemnly proclaims her mission as spiritual mother of all peoples, under the titles co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate, then she will be able to unfold her motherly mediating power in its fullest possible capacity. She makes a promise, the Lady of all nations wishes for unity in the true Holy Spirit. The world is covered by a false spirit, by Satan. Once the dogma, the final dogma in Marian history, has been proclaimed, the Lady of all nations will grant peace, true peace, to the world. The nations, however, must pray my prayer together with the Church. They shall know that the Lady of all nations has come as co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. So be it. Development. The apparition directed that a picture of her be distributed throughout the world. The painting was made in 1951 by artist Heinrich Riep. Small prints were widely disseminated. The picture depicts Mary standing in front of a large wooden cross, Christ is not represented. According to Margrey, the image caused controversy by appearing to suggest that Mary had replaced Christ as co-redemptrix. Adherents of the Amsterdam cultus began to press for the promulgation of a fifth dogma. Despite a declaration by the Bishop of Harlem that he found no evidence of the supernatural nature of the apparitions, the movement continued to spread. In March 1973, Marie-Paul Giguère, founder of the Army of Mary, met Peardman in Amsterdam. Feast Day, 25th March. The first apparition of Mary as the Lady of All Nations took place in Amsterdam on March 25, 1945, the Feast of the Annunciation. Mass Time. Weekdays, 12.15 p.m. Tuesdays, 7.15 a.m. Thursdays, 6.30 p.m., Sundays, 9.30 a.m., 11.15 a.m., Church Visiting Time, Weekdays, 10.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Thursdays, 
10.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Sundays, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Contact info. Address, Our Lady of All Nations, 3, Diapen Brockstrat, 1077 VX, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Website, www.theladyofallnations.info How to reach the shrine? Amsterdam Airport Schiphol is the main international airport of the Netherlands. It is located southwest of Amsterdam in the province of North Holland is the nearby airport to the shrine. Amsterdam Central Station is the largest railway station in Amsterdam, North Holland, Netherlands is the nearby train station to the shrine. If you wish to know more about Catholic Shrine Basilicas, Marian Shrines and Marian Apparitions, subscribe to our Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Like and share with your loved ones. For more churches website www.catholicshrinebasilica.com